Hey, just gonna do a quick little video here on how I've gone and laid out my 10 foot Vino's um, cargo trailer. Get a quick little look of it. Look at it. Single axle. It is the trailer they had in stock during kind of COVID supply chain issues. I would have liked a dual axle at the time, but all they had was a single axle. And so a single axle is what I got. I'm gonna do a quick little, From uh, we'll start at the back and we'll work our way up to the front. So at the back here, um, we got our squares. So a little bit about us, we do general kind of landscape carpentry um, in parks construction, so boardwalks, uh, bridges, um, fences, um, trail maintenance and construction. And so I guess it's a bit of a kind of a hodgepodge landscape carpentry um, combo trailer. It's messy. Well, it's like half messy. We just, uh, we don't have a home for everything quite yet but um yeah figured do a quick little run through here so got the squares i this is like that plumbing strapping so i just i built these shelves here out of uh three eighths and half inch ply a three inch sorry three eighths that looks like it's all half inch half inch walls half inch shelves and then um, just use these bungee straps. I drilled a little hole uh, in a half inch ply. Just use the bungee straps to kind of keep in keep in the tools. Um, it actually works like a hot dam. Uh, looks like my light just died. Put a new battery in that. So yeah, half inch ply. Got some shelves up here for miscellaneous um, stuff. Skill saws, gas axe, um, sawzalls kind of fit in here. Put our helmets, uh, hard hats and helmets up here. This is our SDS Max hammer drill. Snugs in there real nice. Um, this is the Hilti um, corded SDS Max. Uh, random toolbox um, in this little compartment here I've just screwed these little hooks in and I'll hook on just a couple miscellaneous tools and it actually they work good um, I have ensured to drill this 2 by material into the actual steel studs and then I just drilled these uh, screwed these hooks into the 2 by material and it seems to actually have held pretty good so that works good just random wrenches here um, yeah we've gone with pack out so I got a pack out drawer um, little shelves down there for a Jenny gas can um, so these little benches here um, this can double as kind of a sitting area or if it's super wet and crappy outside we'll turn heater in here and kind of change store your crap sit down there i got these pack out crates um slid under here just a bunch of miscellaneous junk so that works good um yeah I'll work our way to the back here i got these i just took some half inch ply spaced it off the wall um put our chainsaws and hedge trimmers in there got some heavy duty hooks up front which all our Fall Pro hangs off of. Um, bought one of these pack out things, which actually works pretty good. Holding like, uh, yeah, like to hold some of our combi um, attachments on there, or whatever, rakes, whatever, whatever you got. And 
get some rakes and shovels up front here. So for our blade storage, I've just taken <laughs> big headed uh, tech, tech screws or metal screws, whatever you want to call them. And, um, <laughs> given a bit of space, I just have literally just driven them right into, uh, they're not bearing on anything. They're just hanging out there. And then I just stick my, stick my blades on them. And actually when you're driving, it works pretty good. I got a slightly bigger hook here for this. All our saws, all blades. I'm just taking these pack out plastic things and screw them onto the wall so that works good um yeah i built this little shelf up here so we put our saw horses uh leaf blower up there right now drawings it's about uh 30 inches about a foot deep so yeah throw some stuff in there here's all our empty pack outs and so kind of i like having my empty pack outs here um so if we need them fill them up, take them out to a job. Um, the shelving drawer units, so these have stuff in them and they're permanently mounted. And so, yeah, I got these drawers and they work freaking awesome. Love them. And yeah, work our way to the back here and um, so we're currently on the Makita battery platform. I've always been a Makita tool guy. I've, um, I've been running their 18 volt system for over 10 years now, probably got 25 for their batteries or so. And we've just never had just, they don't break. They keep running. I use stuff hard, put it away wet and it just keeps ticking. So, uh, one of my guys pulled, we had two of these chargers mounted up here and I've plumbed in a little um, RV plug that I bought off Amazon. So you can take the female end of a extension cord, stick it there, and then I've got that. Just go into this power bank here and then I just plug in our chargers and so, um, charged batteries go on the stealth mounts and then if they're discharged they go on the chargers or if we have space it's kind of a little shelf here um yeah i've been using these back up wall plates which i love uh, other impact specific socket sets which click in in there that are just in a truck right now um yeah but going back, so I just got this plumbing strapping, which I hook our impacts and drills and tape measures onto. And um, little pack out compartments for our tapes, knives, string line, shims. And then um, when I originally built it, got these little four level spots. So they are the proper length for my four lengths of levels and so those levels go in there and works like a hot nap but anyways i get a kick out of watching little videos like this so i figured i'd post a quick video might do a something more in depth later but yeah have a good day guys